Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be giving an overview of what a heap is. And in the upcoming tutorials, we're going to be going over how we could go about implementing a heap. So a heap is a tree data structure that has the following properties. Each node can only have at most two children. Now, the second thing you need to have differs between whether or not you're implementing a minimum heap or a maximum heap. In a minimum heap, every node's key must be greater than or equal to its parents. So in other words, your root node should be the smallest key and the node's keys beneath it should continue to get larger. So if we were to take a look at this minimum heap, for example, you can see that the root node is the smallest key within our heap. And as we go down, our node's keys start to get bigger and bigger. The same is true for a max heap, but in reverse. Every node's key within a max heap must be less than or equal to its parents. So your root should always be the largest key within our tree. And as we go down our tree, the value should continue to get smaller and smaller. And the last property that a heap should have is that it should be a complete tree, meaning that you must fill each level from top to bottom, left to right. The only exception to this is the last level, which doesn't need to be completely filled. So let's take a look at this example. You can see that level zero is full. Level one is full and level two is not full. But the nodes here are at the leftmost point where we could insert at. So this is considered a complete tree. To give an example of a non-complete tree, we have the following. Level zero is full, level one is not full, but it has to be since it's not the last level within our tree. It also has a node at the rightmost side when it should be at the leftmost side. And you can't have that. You must always go from top to bottom, left to right. So this isn't considered a complete tree. Moving on, we're going to be talking about how we could represent our heap by using an array. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how on earth are we going to represent a nonlinear data structure like a tree by using a linear data structure like an array? And that's by using the following formulas. So let's say that I was given the following tree. Let's translate this tree into its array representation. So our root is always going to start at index zero. So let's generate its children by using the formula. So our root is at index zero. So we use that for I and we get the following. Now let's take a look at 50. 50 is at index one. So its children get placed here. And finally, looking at 90, 90 is at index two. So its children get placed here. All right, so let's try to use the formula for a parent. So let's take a look at 75. 75 is at index six, so we plug it into the formula and we get 2.5, which is rounded down to two. And you can see that its parent is indeed at index two. Doing one more example, let's say I wanna take a look at 30. 30 is at index three, so we plug that into our formula for a parent and we get index one. And if we were to take a look at index one, you can see that we get 50 as the parent of 30. It should be noted that every heap is also a priority queue. And a priority queue is the same as a regular queue, except that priority is given based on the key. So if I was using a minimum heap, for example, the lowest keys would be given priority first, and get the queued first. And if we were to have duplicate keys, the key that was inserted first would get the queued first. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. And in the upcoming tutorials, we're gonna start implementing our heap. 